Hi there, this is Nick Roach. Today I'm going to talk about we. The word we and us. I see this used a lot. Obviously we use it every day in conversation, but on spiritual groups, discussion forums, why are we here? What's happened to us? We are all one. We are this. We are that. And I can't help thinking it's this use of the word we so much when looking at spiritual matters that causes so much of the confusion. Because everything is one. And I'm not just saying that in an intellectual sense, repeating a few words strung together. The space you feel inside you now, the bit you refer to yourself as I, I am, that is the one. Of course it is. How can it not be if everything is one? Now, one can point outside themselves and say, that over there, that's one, and that's one, and everything is one. But that is pointing to something external, apparently, something separate. But how about being that one? Feel that space now where you know that you exist, where I am, where you have the awareness the self-awareness reflecting on itself, knowing I, I am. That is the one being. That is it. And enlightenment, God-realisation, self-realisation, being awake, being the one, being the Buddha, is to be so immersed, so engrossed, in that sense of I, in that being, and that is all it is. And yet it's an amazing thing, but that is all it is. To be aware of being aware and to live in that space. So in the context of what I was talking about, when one is looking for the truth, and reading these posts, these messages, these questions, why are we here? This is just happening to us so we can do this. It is helping the mind avoid the truth. It's helping one avoid actually realizing it. If I hold on to the space the awareness that I am, and I am it now. I'm living it, I am being it, I am the one. Can you feel that? The space inside you, where you're aware that you exist. That is the one, the only one. The idea that it's not the only one, there's another one somewhere else, means there are two. And we've already said, everything is one. So you are it. You have to be it. To say everything is one, but you're not it, is ridiculous. And the mind will go, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. What you're feeling now, that space inside you, the knowledge, I exist, I am, that is what this whole thing's about. Becoming that, living that, being that. So I suggest when thinking in a spiritual way, the more can one can avoid the use of the word we and I, we and us, and use the word I, I am, the questions come, why am I here? 
Why is this happening to me? What can I do about it? And suddenly things become a lot simpler. Because as I am the one being, the I you're feeling inside your body there, that one I, as I am the one being, I'm responsible for everything that ever happened in my life and ever will happen and everything that is happening right now because I am the one. Oh, I'm not consciously choosing it with my mind but unconsciously because it's not conscious therefore it's unconscious unconsciously I am creating all of this and that's why we have the term God realization because I realize the space I am is creating everything that exists so I say I am God realized and in the same way I realize this is in effect then a dream if one uses that term not everyone likes it in this context but I certainly do if one likens this place to a dream and I am dreaming I am the one being and here I am and my unconscious is creating this so I'm in effect walking around in my own mind you've heard the term universal mind cosmic consciousness here we are all these words all come together so I'm in a dream here and I learn that the more I can be conscious and aware I am dissolving the separation dissolving the dream and we covered that in the last talk earlier so it's all about I I am I'm aware I'm awake I am this but you don't need to add any of the other words it's purely I am and maybe only I without even being anything just I thank you